The Mars Pathfinder and Sojourner mission, a Grill's Eye visual story snapshot. Faster, cheaper, better were the new goals set forth by then NASA Administrator Dan Golden. The Pathfinder project manager was Tony Spear at Jet Propulsion Laboratories. JPL and NASA have a long history of being innovative, creative, and ambitious. The Pathfinder mission is a good example of the creative process model as defined by NG Taylor Corporation. Identity, vision, and intent lead to insight to create the problem, the subjective side. Next comes engineering, building, and using to solve the problem, the objective side. For more information on the creative process model, be sure to check out MG Taylor and its founders, Matt and Gil Taylor, online. The mission launched December 4th, 1996 from Cape Canaveral, Florida. To solve the problem of landing in Mars' thin atmosphere, an innovative new approach utilizing a parachute and airbags was devised. The scientific term for this approach was called bouncing. Pathfinder bounce landed perfectly on July 4th, 1997. At the Aries Valish section of Mars, a site chosen due to its rockiness and geologic variety, which was ideal for exploration. The Mars Pathfinder Base Station. Once landing, its airbags retracted and the Pathfinder solar petals unfolded like a flower, revealing the base station instrumentation. The instrumentation collected, analyzed, and transmitted data on atmosphere, geology, magnetic properties, and much more. Carried along with Pathfinder was the Sojourner rover. The rover was auto-programmed to react to unplanned events. It was a free-range rover for exploring, collecting, and analyzing rock and soil samples. The Pathfinder Base Station was renamed the Sagan Memorial Station in honor of Carl Sagan, the astrophysicist and astronomer. The Sojourner Rover was named after famed abolitionist and women's rights activist Sojourner Truth by 12-year-old V. Ambrose from Connecticut after winning an essay contest. Results! An unprecedented amount of scientific data was discovered. 2.3 gigabits of data were relayed. Over 17,000 images were taken in total. Sojourner did 16 chemical analyses of rock and soil samples, and the mission discovered evidence of Mars' warm, wet past and thicker atmosphere. The project was delivered ahead of schedule. Not only ahead of schedule, but it exceeded its life expectancy. Pathfinder by three times, and Sojourner by 12 times what was thought capable. The mission officially ended March 10, 1998, and the whole project was under budget. Its total cost was about $170 million, which was less than the budget of the film Titanic. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this short visual story snapshot from Grill's Eye. I'm Christopher Fuller, and thanks for watching.